Hello, my fire sign friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a love reading for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, the 25th, 26th, and 27th. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will see what's going on in love. I am using the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I haven't broke this deck out and probably, I mean, once in a while, but I haven't used it for a good year. Um, and we will be then clarifying um, anything with the time prediction after tarot. So let's see what you guys are going on in love. All right, fire science. Your energy in love for the next three days. Ooh, that's a good catch. Wow, the ace of pentacles. The person you are dealing with. Oh, do you have two people? We will see. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Chalices or the Knight of Cups. Your guys' energy, current energy in the relationship or situationship. Way too many. You guys have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Um, the Eight of Cups in the upright, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Your advice going forward is the Three of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess in the upright. And the outcome that can change due to free will, but the energy that is being read today, if you follow this advice, beautiful, the sun. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the world in reverse um, with the Ten of Pentacles in the upright and the Six of Cups in reverse. Next card out is the Hierophant and the King of Swords and the Moon and the Two of Pentacles. So um, in this deck, you see that the King is having his way while his uh, significant other is watching through the window. So this situation that you're dealing with uh, fire signs could um, be an affair or could have started out as an affair or you could have been the one that was cheated on um, because once again the the man with two women there um, the moon lots of sexual secrets so we will see what is going on here um, your guys's energy here though is the ace of Pentacles um, I just love the detail in these cards um, just so much is going on in them that you have to really uh, really look at the picture for a minute to to see everything that's going on but uh, this is just being thankful the feeling of um, the feeling of being complete not necessarily needing a relationship to um, feel that way but you really want a relationship uh, that is that is satisfying, that is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like gratifying. Um, so it, like you think that with uh, this relationship that it would give you a peace of mind, that it would um, make all your worries go away. Could be um, with a earth sign or in separation from a, a earth sign, but you really want to um, bring the mind, body, and soul. You see the three candles there? That is the, um, the unifying, unifying of the mind, body, and soul with the new beginning. Um, and that love is really just the root of all this intimacy that, um, it's based on something that is stable, that is real, that is tangible, that people can see. Um, this also is for some of you, you could be connected to somebody, but, uh, it's it's mostly a sexual relationship and you're wanting this new beginning because you feel like um, after you have sex after there's intimacy you are you are so much more connected to that person you can't just have casual sex with this person um, and you're really wanting a new beginning with them um, to unify the mind body and soul because right now it's just and it could be because they are with somebody else. So right now, that's all they can give you. Um, the person that you are dealing with, 
um, with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Um, with the Knight of Cups, this is, uh, this, one of you is almost like being modest. Like, you see how she's like, who, me, you know? Um, they are trying to... They're trying to really, like, find who they are. They're trying to, uh, it's like you can't find who you are without having a connection to somebody else. Because how do you know who you are without having somebody's feedback? So, um, there's kind of an innocence here, um, with one person that you are dealing with. Um, if this is not the same person, they could be the same person. They could be shy to the outside world, um, but... You know when you guys are right here that they like it kinky. They like it dirty. <laughs> they like it rough. Um, but you could be um, like the shy, uh, I don't want to say innocent because nobody's innocent, but uh, like they haven't really experienced a relationship sexually like this before. Um, yeah, so... To the outside world, you guys could appear like this. And um, behind closed doors, you're like this. Once again, there's that wife and child in the background um, peering through the doorway. So they could be married and have children. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting all sorts of stuff on that. I need to, I need to look away. All right. The energy that is... Um, in your relationship right now. You have the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We'll do one at a time. So, um, as you see, they're, they kind of like whisk you off your feet. They kind of um, have a way of, no matter what like is going on, you could be mad as hell, and then all of a sudden, like they can just look at you and you're like, oh, okay. Like, it's, there's just a really like intoxic intoxicating energy about this person. Um, one of you is being like really bashful. One of you is, um, like shying away from this connection fire sign. Uh, yeah, you must, you must try. Yeah. One of you has to try put more effort into getting to know um, the other person's like character, their their actions, their... It could be you're the one that wants this deeper connection. You're the one that wants this, you know, new beginning where you get it all. You want it all. Um, you could be shying away from this connection because you don't want to be that third party. You don't want to be with somebody else's husband, somebody else's wife. You want to be the only one the only one. So you could be shying away from this connection because um, you know about that other person, but it's like you're magnetically drawn to them because there is such this uh, intense sexual energy between the two of you. It's like a magnet. It's like you can't, the two of you just keep, are, keep being drawn back to each other. Even though you know it's not right, even though you know that they um, could be with somebody else or this could be vice versa, you still find yourself there. Um, but there's a need for the person who is just wanting the sex right now, who isn't able to commit right now. There's a need for them to um, put a little effort in in getting to know um, your character, um, because you are on reserve right now. You are holding back because, like I said, you don't want to be that other person. In this card, there's just the two of them, and they look very blissful. But I feel you fire signs are shying away from this relationship. Um, this person does have good intentions, the person you're connecting with, um, and they are generally like an honest person. They have, they put on like a tough act because they don't want to get hurt. Um, so they appear to, to have this like rough, like 
view on things, but really it's just a cover because they don't want to get hurt. Um, but there's a need for them to actually get to know you on a deeper level, um, more than just sex, more than just a physical connection. You guys know there's a spiritual connection here as well, but they're not focusing on that right now. All they're focusing on is um, the physical aspects of it. And you're really shying away because you want it, you are either all or nothing. I want to, I want this. If, if I don't get that, then I don't think I want this with that nine of cups in reverse. So, um, with this card, it really, um, you're starting to question this because when it's in the upright, that lantern right there, um, it emits light and it gives, um, confidence that this relationship is going to see it through the dark times that this relationship is going to, um, beat the odds that, that with the light shared between the two of you, um, there's no darkness that you can't, um, come out of it's it's ensuring that there's a triumph in love but in the reverse um you're having you're having hesitations you're wondering if if uh you're going to be able to make it through like the people who are saying it's never going to work or you know the the people like the naysayers um the light is there the light is still there between the two of you but right now, you're feeling uh, very bashful. You're shying away from this connection because they still have that other person more than likely. Um, and they just want to, you know, be together and, and be happy and, and be physical, but not really put in the work to getting to know what it is that you want um, in this deeper relationship. Um, and you're starting to wonder if this light is going to be enough to get you out of this dark time. If this light is going to be enough to... Um, illuminate their path um, to becoming a single energy uh, and not having these extra people in the connection. Um, so the light is still there even if it's in reverse. The two of you are just having a hard time seeing it or um, just the person that is shying away from the relationship. So um, Spirit's advice for you guys. We'll start with the Three of Wands. It is also in reverse. So <clears throat> excuse me um when this card is in the upright i just love the yellow leaves there's it's just so pretty um with the uh three of wands in the upright this is just talking about how you know the healing colors of that autumn you know that uh that you're going through different processes different cycles but you're going to make it through um Yeah. When it's in the upright, there's like this understanding between the two of you. There's this uh, like connection that you don't even have to say a word, but you just both know it's going to be okay because you're both going to be in it together. Um, just that, that real desire and craving for each other. Um, and it's like rediscovering the feelings that you had for each other in the past that you could have forgotten about. But in the reverse, you you are seeing those. You aren't you know that you never lost those feelings. You tried to, you tried really hard, they tried to, um, unsuccessfully. So um with the three of wands here in reverse, um, you know, you guys are just they could have just reached out to you recently or you to them. Um and you guys are reconnecting. You're reconnecting on a whole nother level um, without doing much talking about it. They could be coming forward just offering sex to, to like at first glance. So you could be shying away for nothing because they don't, they don't express their feelings a whole lot. But this person knows who you are to them. They know they never lost those feelings. And, um... The two of you, they could have just recently reached out in communication with you. You could have recently started talking to them in the last three days, three weeks. Um, if they haven't contacted you yet, it will be in the next three days or three weeks. Um, but this is knowing that the connection 
never um, left. So with that being Spirit's advice is to um, allow yourself to feel those feelings and allow the distance between the two of you to be closed because they are coming back. They are reconnecting with you. Um, with the Three of Wands in the reverse, there's no longer going to be that emotional distance or that physical distance much longer. Um, so allow that connection in. Allow that communication. Allow them to come forward because the feelings between the two of you for this group of you have never been lost. Um, you could have felt like they that they um, got over you because they went so long without hearing or you went so long without hearing from them. Could have been three months ago or three years ago. Um, but that's not for everybody. But they went so long without talking to you that you thought for sure they had to be they had to be um, over you by now. Spirit's second card of advice is the Empress. And I just love, or not the Empress, the High Priestess. And I just love this card. I love the colors in this card. I just love this whole deck, actually. But um, I just love the colors and just her confidence. I mean, she just, she's got that cat at her feet to protect her. Um, and she's just waiting. Um, Spirit's advice to you is just to wait. There's nothing that you have to do for this group of you. Um, they're going to come to you. The Empress or the, the High Priestess or the Empress, neither one, neither one of them chase. Uh, the High Priestess knows, knows it's going to happen. They have faith it's going to happen because they have the secrets to making it uh, work. They have the secrets to the universal, universal order. Um, they know that the seasons change and they're just sitting there with the keys. You see the keys in her right hand there. Um, this is all about waiting. Everything is already written in the book of destiny. So there's no reason to worry about it. There's no reason to, um, you know, get all anxious about it because while you're sitting, while you're doing your, doing you, um, you're gaining wisdom, you're gaining knowledge to the divine uh, order of things, and you're really gaining patience while your inner knowledge, your um, intuition, everything is elevating, everything is gaining knowledge in this time of wait. Um, and not only that, when they know that you're not going to run to them every time they give you a call, every time they text you, when they know that um, they have to work to get you um, and you're not going to keep chasing them, they're going to realize that you have realized that you don't need them because in the past you felt like you almost needed them uh, in your life. When you sit and wait, both these cards are about sitting and waiting. They will close the distance. They will reach out to you. Be patient, be confident, and wait for them to reach out. Because it's going to make you, it's going to make them more adamant about um, putting in the work to win you back. Um, because this person could feel like they can do whatever they want. It's kind of, uh, what's that saying? Uh, ask, or do, do first and ask for forgiveness later. Or it's easier to, it's easier to do it and ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. Or something like that. I don't remember. You guys get the idea. So they think they can just go out and do whatever they want. They can, you know, be with whoever they want. They can go months without talking to you. And um, in the minute you, they contact you, you're going to be right there. Because this person has a feeling of being needed. Like, this person has to be wanted. Um, and as long as they think that they want or that you want them, they're going to go out and do whatever they want. And know that when they get back, you'll be there ready to start a relationship. So, um... They will reach out to you, take a step back, allow your intuition to grow, allow the knowledge to, um, to come in, and most importantly, have the confidence and um, the faith in the fact that you are the only one that holds those keys, yours and theirs. It's destined. This relationship is destined to happen. The two of you have to come together for some reason, and you are the only two or you are the only one with the two keys. So they eventually will come back to you. Don't go chasing them because they will come in search of that key because they know you're the one that has it. Um, 
and that is a lot that holds a lot of power within your own um like gaining more knowledge because while you're sitting here waiting for them to um wake the hell up your your soul is growing your um level of consciousness is just elevating like you are benefiting from this um, time of pause from this sitting back and waiting but spirits advice to you is to know that this is destined it will return for some of you three days three weeks three months um your guys's outcome card that is uh that is possible to change but this is the outcome if you take uh this advice right here and it is the sun, the Leo card. Look at the yellows and the fruits, abundance, um, warmth, joy. Uh, yeah, just look at all the abundance that is around them. So um, with the sun, this is, this is focusing on the coming together of you two. Um, the eyes are the direct mirror to one's soul. Um, most definitely this could be a soulmate. Um, with this deck, I do, um, or I do resonate this card with the twin flame just because um, it, it uh, represents the mirror of the soul. Um, and as we know, that is what our twins and soulmates are, but this really just creates magic between the two of you. Um, it's also saying that your thoughts create your reality. The power of thoughts is so, so powerful. Um, so if, if you are having times of doubt, if you are having times of, um, worry, stress, anxiety, Try to replace those with happy images um, to each other, and you um, you will get through any dark time because the universe will um, promise you every morning that sun's going to come up. Um, and this is also promising you, like the sun comes up every day in the east and sets in the west, um, you can bank on the fact that this relationship is going to um, reach a state of union and it's going to last. Not only is it going to reach a state of union and it's going to last, but it's going to be solid and stable and abundant with all that there. All right. Your guys' shared energy is the world in reverse. So I will show it to you in the upright. Um, with this card, this is just being grateful. Having that just gratitude for um for just for just having the ability to oh, what do I I'm, I'm at a loss for words I can't think of the word I'm trying to use why sometimes when I do fire sign readings I have that issue and I don't usually have it with any other signs it's weird um but I think it's because your guys's energy is so intense but uh, this, this is, right now, one of you is needing to complete a relationship um, because it was in the reverse. One of you needs to um, allow a relationship to end in a proper way so it has a gratifying end point. Like, we're both satisfied. I mean, both people may not be satisfied it's over, but the way it ended was the right way. It was respectable. It was honest. It was truthful. Um, and that's in a way gratifying rather than ghosting somebody or, you know, them finding out there was a third party. Uh, so there's a need with your guys' shared energy, whoever has the third party to allow that cycle to end, to allow that relationship to, um, stop. And so there can be healing, um, peace and happiness. Uh, so that they can create a uh, that's not in my eye. So they can create happiness um, at their next stop, at their next uh, cycle in life. This is also um, having like a serene family life. So with it being in reverse, 
this person most definitely could be having uh, be living with somebody a fixed sign could be Taurus uh, Aquarius Scorpio or Leo but um, it doesn't have to be I'll try to pick up where I think I left off but um, with the world this is this is saying that um, one of you needs to allow things to um, come to a close so the two of you can have that um, that connection that will that will last like you see the way he's like touching her um, you know that very sensual touch that the way that they touch you the way that they um, feel about you has what it takes to last um, you know many cycles through this lifetime um, positive cycles you know new chapters with this person building a life with this person um, and but first they need to complete the cycle that they're currently in they need to get rid of um, this kind of energy that they are currently um, in or you whoever has the third party um, it's being clarified with the six of cups in reverse in the upright this is um, looking at an old photograph being in the memories um, of this person um, you know getting feelings for that person uh, by looking at that picture with it in the reverse you're starting to let that go because whoever has a third party the other one is feeling like this is never gonna end I'm I refuse to be this person any longer I want this or nothing so um, you're starting to let you know uh, the desire to reconnect with this person go just a little bit um, because either you or they or both need to um, realize with the Ten of Pentacles, it's all about that mirror that is above her. Um, it's you got to love yourself before you can receive love. You have to um, love yourself before you can give love. So um, it's really um, saying that one of you or both of you need to um, really have that love for self um, and to, you know, put this... Um, out of your mind for the moment because uh, love for self does not does not stand to be a third party um, they you want the world it's all or nothing for you if they can't give you the whole world if they can't give you all of them then you're then you are ready to release this so let's get some um, clarifiers with the after tarot let's see what this um, what your energy is all about. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here and where is it going for Fire Signs energy? Whoa, way too many. Why is Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Five of Wands. In this deck, um, the reversal, it does not get read in the reversals um, because this is what happens after the regular tarot deck. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, this is, did I say the Five of Pentacles? Where did I get that? This is the seven of wands. So um, you're ready to fight. You're going to fight for this connection. You're going to fight for this beginning. You're going to fight to have this person um, all or nothing. Um, you're willing to uh, defend this relationship because you feel that it would be a victory. But I feel you're going to be fighting for that for quite some time. They could not be ready. Um, they possibly could not be ready to be able to give you that all or nothing. Why is the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords here for their person's energy? Where is that headed? The lovers. So they are going to make a choice. Um, I do feel this is both their energies. I feel they betray to one person one thing and in the bedroom there's somebody else. But um, I do believe that you're shying away from this connection, shying away from them. Um, and by you doing that, by you... Um, kind of disconnecting and pulling back, refusing to be that third party, it is going to force, not force them, but it is going to um, push them in the direction of making a decision, um, allowing their truth to be, uh, allowing their truth to be out to the world. Um, they are going to offer you that uh, this is that all or nothing that you want. The one pinnacle that you are wanting is the one that they have to give. They are going to make this decision. Um, they are going to get rid of that third party. 
because when they think they are losing you, when they um, feel you disconnect, when they feel that you aren't going to be that third party anymore, that you're not going to let them do whatever they want and let them come back, they're going to offer that to you because they don't want to lose you. Um, oh yeah, that's your shared energy. The um, energy that is currently around you, I'm not even going to clarify that because that's what you're dealing with right now. Um, Spirit's advice, why is the high priestess here? All right, so um, you're continuing to grow. You're continuing to work. You're continuing to um, make your happiness your first priority. Um, and you're going to manifest something big. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles as well. Look at that. Investing in your own happiness. Sitting back and waiting. Growing. You're learning by sitting in this High Priestess. Um, you are most definitely... Um, being the beautiful um, inside and out fire sign confident um, you're gaining confidence you're gaining knowledge you're gaining wisdom you are really really benefiting from sitting back and not reaching out to this person allowing them to reach out um, hold back a little bit don't don't go all in when this person comes back make make them know that you are no longer going to be that option um, in their life anymore that you're not you're not going to um, if they don't give it to you you're gonna walk away clarifying the Sun you have the fool so you're both going to take this leap of faith in the future when they make this decision when you cut them off sexually um, they will uh, make a decision and the two of you will um, take that leap together uh, creating see the three candles mind body and soul you guys will connect mind, body, and soul, and it will bring you this happy um, relationship that you're seeking, this happiness that you are really, um, that's what you want. You want a real relationship. You want a committed relationship, a faithful relationship, and um, if they can't give it to you, you're telling them you're walking away. If you're not going to end this cycle, if you're not going to end this relationship with whoever, um, then I'm forced to walk. I will leave you behind. You see the person back there because I refuse to be a part of this um, affair any longer. Um, with the six of cups in the reverse, you have the seven of cups in the upright. Um, they're they're, they're going to have to sacrifice something in order to get something better. Um, but this is also a lot of confusion. Um, about giving up this connection. Do I really want to say that? Is that gonna? Are they gonna walk away and never come back? Should I really say that? There's a lot of confusion, but yes, you should. If you don't end this uh, third-party situation, I'm gonna end it for us because I refuse to be one of your many choices. I refuse. I want it all. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We also got. Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah. Um, but this Ten of Pentacles, um, that you have to give love to get love, but you have to give it to yourself before, um, you know, being that mirror. So there is this deep bond between the two of you that's causing a lot of that toxicity, that's causing a lot of hurt. Um, this person has hurt you or you hurt them whoever has a third party it's done a lot of emotional damage um to each to the connection but the bond is there this will come back um into a connection um but in order for you to get rid of this toxic energy you have to love yourself enough to say um i'm walking away if if you're not going to go all in on this and the star card is your bottom of the deck beautiful healing divine timing with that high priestess, it's all going to happen in divine timing. Um, that's what this is. Um, you're both going to face those inner demons and move forward. Um, healing from the past that the two of you have experienced together. But overall, this is going to turn into a beautiful relationship. But in order to get this gift, in order to get this mind, body, and soul love, this big abundance, you have to have the courage to be ready to walk away if they're not willing to give up their other options to give up their other situations you have to have the courage to do this um, and be okay with if if they don't leave the other person that you're walking 
um, because for this group of you, they will come back to you. They do know that um, the two of you are meant to be together and they will offer um, that one pinnacle to you um, after making a choice. So three days, three weeks, three months for you guys. This is a very, uh, this timeline is happening right now. Um, so that's what um, the outcome or the shared energy is between the two of you. Beautiful reading actually. Um, I hope it resonated with you. If it did, please comment below. For those of you who have not subscribed, please do. Um, for those of you who have, thank you for supporting my channel. I love each and every one of you and so very grateful for having you on my spiritual path as well as allowing me to be on yours. So have a beautiful weekend. God bless.